One of the things that I used to really like to do in my spare time was play video games, and I really don't have a lot of time to do that anymore. I've been trying to come up with a way to stream on here doing some games, but in the meantime, I thought it would be really fun to do a video talking about my top 10 favorite video games of all time. <laughs> Hi y'all, Snarky J Cosplay here. Before I get into this, I am not claiming that these are the top 10 best video games of all time. These just happen to be my personal favorites. So stay tuned to hear my number one choice. It might surprise you. Number 10, Infamous Second Son. I had never played an Infamous game, but I bought this one when I got my PS4 in 2014 and I absolutely fell in love with it. You play as a rebellious rattle can artist fighting back against an oppressive government organization in Seattle. What more could you ask for? I think the graphics hold up over 10 years later. The mechanics are fun. There's not just cool powers to you, but you also get to literally spray paint stuff around the city, which I thought was super cool. You can make good choices or bad ones, and the ending does change based on what you've done in the game. It is absolutely one of my favorites of all time, and in my opinion, it still holds up. Number 9, Final Fantasy 15. I wasn't allowed to play any Final Fantasy games growing up, but I had to have this one when it came out in 2016 and I was finally old enough to get it. And god this game is a killer. I'm not huge on RPGs because I'm not really the smart waiting to level up before I do things type. I'm basically the run in, guns blazing, go absolutely crazy and somehow figure it out type. And that method actually worked for this one. I love the mechanics in this game but what really wrapped me up and made it so that this game made it to my top 10 list was the story. It's four dudes on a road trip that's equal parts cute and tragic. I was totally won over. I've literally played it start to finish like six times and I still get a little choked up at the end. Also, shout out to the game's MVP, Gladio, who is responsible for my addiction to cup noodles in high school. Number eight, Darksiders. This is one of those that I often wonder if it ever existed or if I just imagined it because I've actually never met anybody else ever who has played it. It's from 2010 and it's part hack and slash, part puzzle game, think The Legend of Zelda, but you're literally playing as War, who is one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, and he's trying to clear his name after some demon drama that basically falsely accused him of starting the apocalypse. Admittedly, I don't think it holds up super well 14 years later, and playing it was an incredibly frustrating experience for somebody who doesn't really like puzzle games, but the characters are fascinating, the designs are fabulous, and it's all around a pretty solid game. Number 7, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. The Ezio trilogy was absolutely phenomenal, but in my opinion, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood is literally one of the best games ever made. The mechanics really polished up after Assassin's Creed 1 and 2, and following a maturing protagonist who is wrapped up in real political and historical drama in Renaissance Italy, that's some shit. I can't even be really eloquent about it. That is how much I love Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Number six, Batman Arkham Asylum. I played this one way too late in my life, but wow. As a hardcore Batman fan who picked this one up literally 15 years after its release, I loved this game. It takes place entirely on Arkham Island in one night where you play as the bat literally struggling for your life the entire time. It's creepy and it's exhausting, but it's a ton of fun if you do it right. And you also get to hear Kevin Conroy's Batman voice the entire time. I really can't imagine asking for anything more. Number five, The Wolf Among Us. It's been over 11 years and I still love this game to death. This one is pretty different to the rest on this list. It's a telltale game series based on the little known DC comic series, Fables. It's all about the sheriff of a town of fairy tale creatures hiding out in New York, except you're the sheriff who is also the big bad wolf and everybody hates you. And the whole game depends on your choices in dealing with people. It literally is one of the coolest gaming experiences I've ever had. It rocked my world in 2013 and I still love that art style to this day. Cell shading is an art. Number four, Assassin's Creed 3. I feel like this is one of the more controversial picks on this list, but nobody said I was a video game expert. Getting to play a member of the Mohawk tribe seeking assassin vengeance during the American Revolutionary War was one of the cooler experiences I've ever had gaming. In my opinion, this was one of the better games in the Assassin's Creed series as a whole. And even though a lot of people griped about the detached nature of Connor Kenway, the protagonist, I found him and the game itself fascinating. 
thing. Plus, not only was the story really good, but this one introduced a lot of different weapons and new mechanics into the game, which was a lot of fun and really refreshing for the Assassin's Creed series. Number three, The Last of Us. This was the first PS4 exclusive I ever played, and I was terrified, but also completely obsessed. Yes, my hype for this game isn't the same after The Last of Us 2, which I refused to play, by the way. But this is the game that really got me into gaming way back when. The graphics still look good 10 years later, the mechanics and crafting elements were super cool, and the game literally took me on an emotional roller coaster more intense than my last relationship. It's also one of the games that cemented my love for Troy Baker and his acting abilities. Number two, Red Dead Redemption. Y'all should have seen this one coming. Look, back in 2010, my brother let me watch him play and I was entranced. I spent years wishing I could play it for myself, but in 2010, I was only 10 and not allowed. But in 2014, I finally played this all the way through and it had everything I wanted. It's a killer story following a cowboy who is equal parts grizzled and exhausted. It's got a totally heart-wrenching ending. It's 2024 and I still recommend this game to anybody who will listen. Before I get into my favorite video game of all time and reveal number one on this list, I want to go ahead and hype up some honorable mentions. Little Big Planet is one of those that I don't think I could replay today, but it's literally childhood nostalgia and joy personified. I spent countless hours playing levels, designing little outfits, and hanging out with my little friends that I made. I was also a huge Ratchet and Clank fan. I thought it was adorably sarcastic and really fun. I spent a lot of hours super frustrated by missions on these, but Ratchet and Clank is some of the most fun I've ever had. Honorable mention also goes to Sly Cooper 3. It's actually the only Sly Cooper game I've played all the way through, but 3 was super cool, had some awesome missions that actually went around the world. I really vividly remember some missions in Venice that were awesome. And my last honorable mention goes to Overwatch. I've never liked first person shooter games, much less online ones, but I actually actually got really good and I loved the lore before they essentially sh** on everything with Overwatch 2. And now, ladies and gentlemen, on to my number one choice, which I'm sure you guys are gonna roll your eyes about because I feel like it's kind of a cheap shot, but my number one video game of all time is Red Dead Redemption 2. I know second place went to Red Dead Redemption 1, but these are different, they're two different games and I'm going to rank them individually. This prequel to Red Dead Redemption 1 is basically Cowboy Simulator 2018 with one of the most emotionally taxing stories of all all time. The campaign is like 60 hours long, the side missions, NPC encounters, and exploration could fill years, and basically has. It's been six years, I'm literally on my fourth playthrough, and that's not counting all the times I've booted up the game to an old save just to ride around, do some hunting, and exploring. The mechanics are enjoyable, and even though the distances are long and the scenery is monotonous, I don't think I've ever derived so much pleasure and so much heartbreak from a single game. I literally took better care of my horse and my cowboy in that game than I do of myself. I won't spoil it in case anybody here has been living under a rock and doesn't know how that game ends, but let me just say that it's been four times finishing that campaign and every time I sob, like real tears. And also, I named my dog Arthur after Arthur Morgan, so that alone should tell you what an impact that game had on me. Folks, that wraps up my top 10 favorite video games of all time. Again, I know that I'm not like a connoisseur of video games. I just like playing things with good stories that I find entertaining. These are games that have had a huge impact on me and that I still love to this day, even though a lot of them are over 10 years old at this point. And that's all from me. I've been Snarky J. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. For more Snarky J, be sure to check me out on Instagram. And if you'd like to support me, this channel, and my content creation, do check out and consider subscribing to my page Patreon for exclusive photo shoot sets and content. I will add links to both in the description below. And let me know your thoughts on my top 10 favorite video games in the comments below.